Welcome back to the spaceship, or ultra-magnified metaphor for a eukaryotic cell? Yeah, spaceship sounds more fun. Let's stick with that. In this video, we're going to take a look at the last two departments on the ship, the garbage disposals and the space hospital. Here on the cell ship, those departments represent lysosomes and peroxisomes, which are both responsible for digesting matter within cells. You might not guess that the garbage disposal and the hospital would have a similar role, but hey, the roles are different in space. Let's get started with the garbage disposals, aka lysosomes. Did you already notice the EMS Enterprise logo? Some lysosomes are formed by the cell membrane and Golgi, and being the children of these endomembranous organelles, it makes sense that lysosomes are also a part of the endomembrane system. So you know where they come from, but what do they do? Lysosomes are special vesicles that contain hydrolytic enzymes to aid in cell digestion. These digestive enzymes quickly hydrolyze cellular material, including foodstuff, old organelles, and even stuff that has no business being in the cell, like pathogens. This disposal is filled with stuff from all around the space station being degraded by water lasers, to remind you of breakdown via hydrolysis. Aww. One of the space station's own Golgi goldfish has passed on. Well, gotta make some room on the spaceship. Throw them in the disposal. Lysosomes perform autophagy, the breaking down of a cell's own organic material. Sounds so metal, right? When lysosomes are specifically signaled for this process, they can engulf entire organelles to break them down into smaller building blocks. So this dead Golgi fish by the autodisposal is here to remind you that life is short. And that autophagy involves the cell breaking down its own material via its lysosomes. Lysosomes also metabolize material from the environment, like pathogens, cellular debris, etc., in a process called phagocytosis. What's this guy smiling about? He's about to get obliterated by these hydrolytic water lasers. Uh, should we be worried about that? Well... As if lysosomes weren't hardcore enough, they can also release their hydrolytic enzymes into the rest of the cell to destroy it. This process is called autolysis and usually occurs when a cell is injured or diseased. Yeah, doesn't bode well for the fate of this spaceship. Well, let's head to the hospital. Should be safer, I hope. This space hospital represents peroxisomes organelles that kind of look like lysosomes in that they're a small compartment surrounded by a single membrane. And while peroxisomes and lysosomes both function to break down stuff, peroxisomes work in an entirely different way. Oh, and did you notice there's no EMS Enterprise logo on this hospital? Even though peroxisomes are membrane-bound organelles, they are not a part of the endomembrane system. Anyway, here are the specifics. While lysosomes metabolize cellular material via hydrolytic enzymes, peroxisomes break down molecules through a process called oxidation. Whoa, is this robo-doctor using hydrogen peroxide? Well, so much for the hospital being safe. His patient is, like, mangled, to put it nicely. Anyway, peroxisomes contain enzymes that steal hydrogen atoms from the substrate in question and slap them on an O2 molecule, forming hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Hence the, what I would call, wildly insufficient treatment of hydrogen peroxide. Wait, peroxisomes take a substance and make a toxic substance? Short answer, yes. But peroxisomes have a special enzyme that can break toxic H2O2 into non-toxic molecules like water and sometimes oxygen. That's why these hydrogen peroxide bottles here are discarded and kind of broken looking. So you know how peroxisomes break stuff down, but what do they break down? See this toxin symbol here in the back? That's to remind you that peroxisomes are involved in the detoxification of harmful substances in certain cells. Holy mother of robots! Dr. Roboto is sawing off an alien tentacle that attacked a spaceship worker. Save him, please! He has a family of two cats. This robot doctor cutting these fatty acid-looking tentacles illustrates an especially important metabolic function of peroxisomes, the breakdown of fatty acids. 
the products of fatty acid breakdown will eventually be used to produce energy for the cell. All right, space injuries might be too intense for me. This is nothing like space camp. Luckily, we've made it through all the major organelles. So let's recap all the extreme hazards and cellular digestion we just saw. Lysosomes are membrane-bound components of the endomembrane system. They contain hydrolytic enzymes to aid in the digestion of macromolecules. Lysosomes perform autophagy, in which they break down their cells' organelles. They also digest material from the environment, like pathogens. Finally, lysosomes can also trigger cell death by releasing their enzymes into the rest of the cell. Now, peroxisomes are membrane-bound, but they are not members of the endomembrane system. Peroxisomes use hydrogen peroxide to break down specific compounds. Hydrogen peroxide is toxic, but fortunately, peroxisomes got it handled. Peroxisomes can neutralize toxic substances, as well as break down fatty acids so that they can be used for energy. Well, I need some time to digest all of this information, but not in the self-destructive lysosome way. I'm thinking way fewer enzymes.